SPY at the time of this reading, $531.36 USD. The shuffle video for the June 28th reading, which created on May 2nd, 2024, at 11.40 p.m. Eastern Time. That's the video playing in the lower left corner. The overall theme and behavior for SPY on the 28th, again, we successfully find support. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's like a bullish or bearish. It just means overall there's, a, there's an important support that we successfully find here on a multi-day scale. Behavior around the highest high for the day, we have a period of sideways rotation that ends with a fast sudden move higher, taking us into the high. Behavior around the lowest low, we have a universe card overlapped with the universal, indicating a very significant decline, probably on a multi-day scale. It's nullified, however, indicating that somehow that decline is then like counteracted. I'm advised to trade around a pop and drop. And before I get into the hour by hour chart behavior, as well as finding the highs, the lows, and the best trade opportunities, I just want to make sure you're aware. The whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. We do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. You go to the resources tab of our website, Terra for Traders, and 5% of the profits from every profitable trade utilizing this information should be donated forward to one of these charities, or pick a charity of your choosing as long as you're paying 5% forward, and then 5% should be sent back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use Wise or you can use YouTube tips, and that leaves you at 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love. As long as you follow those rules, you follow the rule of karma for the channel, the universe considers you an angel investor. It's going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. Let's get back into it. So in the pre-market, we have an important resistance level that's highlighted. We failed to break through it many times before. Right around the open, there's a lot of price change and an important support level highlighted there. And that's that's where I would most likely get into. I would most likely close out of a short position from the prior day for a good profit. There's an overbought crest that we sell off, or probably a brief peak, an overbought peak that we sell off from through multiple support levels in that first half hour, taking us into an important support level on a, on a one month scale between roughly 10 and 11. And then from that support, we rally and we have a sideways fluctuating rally between roughly 11 and 12. That precedes a decline between roughly 12 and 1. Okay, and so there's a pop and drop there. So that sideways fluctuating decline between 12 and 1. Right around one o'clock, there's a pop and then a drop. So a pop taking us to a high uh, by a, a, a drop and we revisit the support that we recently popped from there uh, between roughly one and two o'clock. And then there's sideways rotation along that support followed by a big move higher taking us back to highs probably the high for the day there uh two o'clock between roughly two and three and then we decline from that into the last hour that decline however ends right around the close with a fast sudden move higher and, and a, a breakout more movement to the upside in the post market and i'm advised uh see preview for the following trading day we have a, a prominent peak that'll stand out followed by a sharp drop off of that peak yeah okay so what i would do is i would close a short position at the open don't be hasty there might be a little bit of a move to the downside there in that first half hour so you know depending on how it looks i close the short position there and then midday around with that empress card i would open up a long position close a long position around two o'clock at a day's high and that's spy for june 28th let me know what you think by hitting that like button as always make sure to follow that rule of karma my friends blessings to all my angel investors i'll see you guys on the next one